Every real cowboy like myself knows how lonely it is out on the open range, which is why I listen to the Cowboy Boys Podcast. With best contractually obligated friends, Shane Smith and Mac Arthur, the Cowboy Boys will comfort your soul better than any disease-ridden saloon gal ever could. Cowboy Boys. What would would you ever let a girl peg you if you were in love? If I was in love? Yeah. No. What? I thought I had you on that one. We've talked about this before. Uh, I know. I'm just always trying to catch you slipping, motherfucker. (laughs) You can't slip if you don't put on a mask. (laughs) But you can slip and fall right onto your lady's dildo up your butt. No, it wouldn't happen. It wouldn't. um, Because I told you, it's my rule. You don't. You don't, when you're in a relationship, you don't do anything to a girl that you wouldn't be comfortable with her doing to you. So it's like... Well, she wants to. No, she's like, Mac, I love you dearly. I guess it's you don't force it. So if a girl's like... She's not forcing it. She's no, but asking I'm, nicely. And you're yeah. just going to deny no, the love of your life, her greatest fantasy? I'm saying if she asked me to put something in her butt, I would. But if the same goes the opposite way, I'd have to ask her nicely. You can't demand something for that well, someone doesn't want to do. She's not demanding. She's saying, Mac, I've always wanted to. I would love make... you so much. <laughs> Let me put something in your butt, please. And I'd be like, uh, sorry. You wouldn't? If you truly love me, you the would respect. The mother of your children? He would respect she, my boundaries. She's like, it's my greatest fantasy. I'll come so hard. Um, If she was the mother of my children and her like pussy got blown out maybe i'd <laughs> i'd be like you know what <laughs> solidarity i'll blow up my butt for you <laughs> <laughs> hell we, yeah we did get an email it's from... like it was me the whole time <laughs> i fucked you in your butt i'm you, your wife <laughs> you bared my you, you're my children. gay now you're so gay um <laughs> that's we... right i bared your children i don't know how but there was someone just emailed us let me see hell yeah was it boobs? Um, so we're going straight to the emails. Yeah, we've gotten a few boobs, but dude, what? I don't <laughs> I haven't seen. Listen, everyone, Mac is holding your boobs hostage. I've seen none of your boobs. I'm not holding them hostage. You have just log into the email, <laughs> dude. I've been busy at work. And I, was I haven't in, like emailed anyone back. I was in Canada, and the internet is made out of wood in Canada. It's fucking terrible. Um. So this girl goes. The other day, a man was fucking me, and he was so mm. thick, and the fact. I had a butt plug in. I had to stop to pee, so I said I'd be right back. He asked me if I would suck his dick while I was peeing in the bathroom. What? While she was peeing? Yeah. I said, um, no hard pass, WTF, man. See, this is a lady who knows her boundaries. Well, yeah, of course. We li- we Listen, we love a person who knows their boundaries. And that so shit is good. She continues... Uh, also, when a man who is really thick fucks my ass, it definitely needs recovery time for a week not from soreness but so i feel like i won't lose its tight integrity lol it truly can make you get hemorrhoids and lose its integrity and hell to the no i refuse to let that happen p.s you guys are cool hell cool as hell that's from murray murray she she emailed us at cowboy boys uh podcast at gmail.com yeah have you blown your butthole out (laughs) email (laughs) us at cowboy boys and tell us what i noticed from her email is she was she mentioned that the thickness is what. Yeah, of course does it's it. not the length. The length kills you, impales you, Vlad style. So the thickness blows out your butthole. That's why. That's that's probably why I don't fuck people in the ass. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I can't. That's all my I'm too God. blessed. Your tuna can thick. Not not length. <laughs> you're the you're the bottom of the soapy bottle, not the top. Um, the glass or the plastic bottle. The glass one. I forget that soapy even has plastic these days fucking ridiculous anyway i'm just glad that you have finally admitted that you'd let someone blow your butthole out after after we've had like two to three kids dude well firstly you, you don't just start out a relationship with that this yeah. is like in what this is like the kids are out of college yeah I'm like not a, i'm not an animal you don't blow your butthole <laughs> out second date man Though some people do, <laughs> yeah, I was like, wait, hold on, though. Some people do blow their buttholes out pretty and quick. I'm not saying don't, but just know the medical <laughs> ramifications. <laughs> do it, do it. The ramifications. Oh, we just got another email. Just a second. It, yeah, it's uh, fucking. Let's party, dude. It says, live. 
it says uh, our billing was accepted for the <laughs> for oh the, for damn the hosting. that's it's, that's so, depressing so cowboy boys is still on the air hey everyone that's cool man i got a fucking anyway uh yeah how was <sighs> canada it was good it was like uh, you so, sound like <laughs> fucking, sound like you were visiting relatives, dude. I had like a depressive episode so hard while I was there, and then I spent all this time by myself, and so I spiraled. And then I slept for like I literally one of the days I slept for sixteen hours. I woke up. Well, it wasn't the normal sleep. It was like the fitful, like you're half asleep, half awake, but you're too lazy to get up. But you could get up if you wanted, but you don't. You if you close your eyes you'll go right back to sleep yeah dude and i forgot to eat for like the whole time and then see that's the difference between you and me i i get up to eat and then go back to sleep <laughs> so i, woke I up. will survive so i woke up for the show like a half an hour before the show just walked to the show did the show and then went straight back to the hotel and fell back asleep and i did three shows like that which is brutal as fuck nothing's worse than having to wake up from a depressive episode and then be like and I guess I'll entertain these people. I know I'm complaining about working for 20 minutes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, like, even then, Boo-hoo. it's just, like, too much. Aww. So, uh... Is that... Does that do, uh... Si- does that give you psychic whiplash? Waking up alone in a hotel room and then Dude. going on stage in front of hundreds of people? It fucks you up so... I can't describe how bad. And then it started to spiral me harder because I just woke up and all these people were like, we love you. And I was like, I want to kill myself. I fucking hate this. I was so miserable. And then you do a show and like it's... Dude, yeah. Psychic whiplash is exactly like how I'd put that. I think you need to not sleep with your phone next to you because i think first thing in the morning getting messages from people like online good or bad oh no yeah sometimes it's, it's one or the other or both we and need it's to go brutal we need to go back to those old 80s alarm clocks not even radio just or the ringing yeah and you wake up and then just recombobulate i've been trying to not go on my phone first thing in the morning but i fail every time i always check it's so fun <laughs> yeah yeah the internet is so fun oh it is it's i'm I'm gonna try and like do yoga before i look at my phone for this week yoga the, the diamond dallas page yoga <laughs> yoga is when i did that for a month oh it was i was at my peak <laughs> i uh i could touch my so, toes so yeah canada was like the first three days were fucking horrifically rough and i i'm surprised like i literally i've never called out of a show ever in my life but you wanted to i almost did at a festival which is like the situation where it's the least like i should never have even considered it and i was like literally like i'm just gonna sleep through the show whatever it'll be fine and i was like no you're crazy you can't do you're you they flew you to canada for this but anyway, I got it together, and then I hung out with my friend Ash, who has a YouTube channel called Gorilla Miniatures Games, and he plays, like, Warhammer on camera for a living, and I played Warhammer with him and spent a day with him, and he kind of, like, reset me. I was like, oh, human interaction, we're good to go. Why are you doing stand-up when that seems like the true... Oh. Just playing Warhammer? Is that his only job? Yeah. He's made it. No, I know, dude. Doing stand up is work. Playing video game or not. D- dude, playing. I know. He just paints miniatures. People send him free miniatures and stuff. He paints them and then he plays with them and then he fucking puts that online and people pay him. Yeah, it's fucking awesome. That rules. No, he's so cool and it was way fun to play games. I haven't played Warhammer in a minute. And then um he reset me and I was like, oh, good, regular people. And then I kind of got out of it. And then we moved towns to this place called Kitchener, which is like more of a college scene. Scene. and then those and then we played theaters with tom green for four days or five days or whatever and then i was good to go i was like oh i feel much better so it was just like the road gigs at first yeah no they were like really road like in a bar older crowd like and it just like i think i kind of like it transported me back to like when i was a road comic getting divorced when you're doing triple runs dude and i was just like <laughs> driving eight hours to do a show for a bar a bunch of bar flies and, and to make three hundred dollars one hundred of which you spent on gas that's when comedy was fun though. dude going to denny's <laughs> and waiting for people to get up and if they hadn't eaten their pancakes you eat their pancakes Wait, like what <laughs> yeah i never did that yeah dude that's the level of poor we're talking so going to to wake up and going to another hotel to steal their continental breakfast like so yeah 
Um, it just transported me back to another time. And then I was, like, way full of anxiety all week and stuff. What a fucking horrible mental health week. I don't know what happened, dude. Canada just fucking ruined me. But I did have a lot of fun the last five days. Do you think it was the Canadian energy? Yeah, they're, they're not, so they're chill, as, and I don't like it. They're not as cowboy up there. Dude, they are not. They... they they're they're too nice of people. I fucking <laughs> swear to God, I I've got to customs and I was like, oh shit, you know, because I have a criminal record and stuff, and hey, I was hey, like, alleged criminal record. That's right, you, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, everybody. So if you're a Canadian, if you're if you're the uh, cops, uh, Canada cops, what are the Mounties? <laughs> yeah, this is stop some, listening. Some guy in a moose with a handheld radio listening to our <laughs> podcast. <laughs> got him, eh? <laughs> so um, we fucking. So I'm sitting there at customs, and he's looking at my shit, and he's taking forever, and then he goes on the computer, and maybe he was looking me up. Who knows? But he took quite a, t- quite a while. I'm talking like five minutes. I was like, fuck, dude. I'm about to get told I can't come into Canada. And then he was like, do you have your papers? And I was like, my passport? And he goes, no, it says you, you said you're coming here for work. Did your employer tell you you needed papers? And if you come here to the United States to work, you have to fill out tax shit and all this other fucking stuff. So I was like, oh, my God, he didn't give me the papers. I'm fucked. Yeah, I've heard a lot of comedians uh, just going up to Canada perform. And when they ask, they're like, oh, I'm just here on vacation. And they're like, OK. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> then so then I well, I didn't lie. I should have probably. No, but that- then he's like, do you have your papers? And I was like, my employer didn't tell, give me any. And then he goes. Okay, enjoy Canada. <laughs> and he just sent me in. <laughs> I was like, holy shit, dude. This place fucking is that's, crazy. That's the place where we should build the wall. <laughs> dude. <laughs> you get Mexico. So easy to get in. So they just let me in their fucking country like it was easy. So, uh, yeah. Stealing Canadian comedians' jobs. I did. I did. It was awesome. Well, that's good. I'm glad it. I'm glad you had fun in Canada at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I was. Dep- you know, you. when you're depressed, but you still manage to have fun. It's mm. kind of like when you feel the worst, but you're watching The Simpsons. Um, I do know that because I was drunk watching The Simpsons last night. Mm. <laughs> Hell yeah, it was very fun. Oh, you missed my birthday. Well. You were in Canada. I can't believe you went to Canada for my birthday. I was no, I was there for part of your birthday. Doesn't count. You got to be here for the whole <laughs> thing. <laughs> um, have we talked about? Have I talked about a birthday cereal? No. That's that's what I've been. You've been eating the. You got me a chocolate cake. Yes. And <laughs> I've been eating. You put. You take the cake. You put it in a bowl, and you just pour milk on it. Dude, that legit makes me want to puke. No, that's how you get to my size. Oh, if you want to bulk, you bulk you up, you just it's make so it good. mush. Yeah, it's just cake mush. <laughs> it's cake cereal. Dude, I'm not kidding. That's a real. <laughs> you don't eat cake puke. cereal? No, it's so gross to me. That's no, no. so gross it's to me. So good. Every you can only do it once a year. <laughs> Dude, that's too much. Just to, like make a mush out of cake, like an oatmeal type mush. Ugh. No, it's you should try it. Have you tried it? Dude, it just in my mind it's just like having wet cake in the sink like left over and you eat that. <laughs> That's what it is to me. No, it's different. It's milk. Also, you know I can't eat milk. I'll shit myself. Yeah. yeah. I've I'm lactose intolerant now. I'm weak. You got Dude, if coronavirus comes it'll take me. I can't withstand anything anymore. Dude, the lactose intolerance has shaken me to my core. Your immune system has been compromised. I literally used to just eat anything. I was a complete garbage dump. I would never get sick. Now I'm lactose intolerant, and I'm like, what's next? What happened? You got healthy, and now your immune system doesn't have to work as hard? I guess. So now the slightest breeze could kill you. I also I asked someone, and they said that I might be working out too much. That's a thing. <laughs> yeah, no, you because if you work out too much, it fucks up your immune system. They're like, yeah, you probably feel bad all the time because you're working out too much. And I was like, well, I'm only running like 60 miles a week. And they're like, you're dying. You know what you should do? <laughs> You should what? have more cake cereal. Dude, maybe. Like on your days off, recovery days. I probably could use some more calories. <laughs> That'll, it's a good bulking. Uh, you know, Mac from It's Always in Sunny in Philadelphia. Yeah. He, because he got super fat before he got super rich. <laughs> yes. And so there, I have a few friends who are always just like they can't put on weight when they work out. Uh huh. They're like, I've been working out and I can't. There, I'm just like, how? That's the two sides of the coin. The fat guys like me are like, how do you not eat? And so then <laughs> skinny guys are always like, how do you eat? And so Mac from what's his real name? It's Rob something. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. He he was talking in an interview and he's like, how did you get so fat? And he said he would just get his trainer. Because <laughs> he had a trainer to get fat, 
would uh dude that's your dream job <laughs> just to get fat. to teach celebrities how to get fat <laughs> to you're just getting bald. christian dude <laughs> you're just getting christian bale fat every other year for some role oh uh, yeah but so his trainer would um grab a gallon of ice cream in the morning and it would melt uh, like out in the day and when he get like home he would drink it because it would <laughs> become liquid Fuck. and that was the only way he could pack on the calories. This is a drink liquid ice cream. That's fucking wild. Dude, that's our perfect job, Mac. Dude, you I'm, get someone fat, and then I'll dude, get them in shape. We become Hollywood trainers for whatever body type you yeah, need. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whichever, like the angel and the devil on your shoulder. Yeah, that's the, the business you plan. Just, you just come live with us and do what we do. <laughs> just like I've got one guy with me working out in the morning. You've got a guy crying as you're making him drink ice cream at night. <laughs> I'm eating just as much. Like, come on. <laughs> you can't do this? Totally Look how fine. easy this is. I'm eating your ice cream, too, <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> Three more reps. Dude, yeah. you do eat so I, – and I know I've said it on the podcast, but you eat so much more than how fat you are. It's crazy. This guy got that good metabolism. Uh, you know what is so funny is – and I'm not super skinny. We both, like, consume so much fucking garbage – and then manage to be not what we should be. <laughs> like, I should be so much skinnier, but I eat, like, 5,000 calories a day worth of junk food. And you should be so much fatter, but your metabolism is working, like, maximum overdrive. Well, I think it's because I only eat food. I don't – I'm not into sweets like you. Oh, yeah. And also, I don't, like, drink too much. I yeah, think dude. I think last night was the first time I drank in, like, three or four months. So – just just food <laughs> it's so wild dude when i was at my skinniest i was eating ben and jerry's every day a whole pint was that it no i mean i was eating like regular meals but that was like my treat and i would go through like one a day That's which is a crazy no, meant, amount That's of... it just a pint oh uh, yeah yeah in your terms but like for a person who's like it's skin like so keeping wait. the weight off it's like that's a lot did you me. did you like nibble at the pint did you like i would yeah. eat it throughout the day yeah <laughs> I would, like, buy it in the afternoon, usually after my workout, and then by the time, like, I would be up late playing games, I would finish it. I could smash a pint in five minutes. I've literally <laughs> seen you do it. I, I don't even... There was once when... Dude, this is real, everyone. Once we got ice cream together, and I swear to God, I was... I remember in my mind being like, oh, I have to... Because Mac and I only own two spoons. <laughs> oh, yeah. We need purpose. to buy a third spoon. Well, yeah, sometime. we do. We need to have as many spoons as we have microphones for the podcast. <laughs> in, case, in case, like, a guest comes over and they're like, I want ice cream, too. <laughs> we have two of everything, everyone, so that we don't make dishes, because we hate dishes. But I remember thinking, oh, the spoons are dirty, so I washed one, and I looked over it and I, you had eaten a ton of your ice cream, I assume, with your hand? Just like a fucking monster. What do you mean with my hand? You can eat the top half Oh my just God. opening it. <laughs> it. <laughs> just like a trough? Yeah. Like when you put a horse and oat thing on exactly. a horse's face? That's what the handle on the gallon plastic <laughs> thing of ice cream is for. You just hang it around your head and dunk it and <laughs> eat it throughout the day. Dude. Yeah, it's no, fucking I wild. What were the boobs in our email like? Describe them to me. Um, let me find some. Cool. I'm fucking hyped. I want to see boobs. They cheer me up, everybody. I'll, but P.S. If you wanted to send us your naked bodies, and you absolutely don't have to, but when you do, I appreciate it the most. It makes me happy. It does. I love naked people, uh, and I like voyeurism a lot, so I appreciate I just like the idea that someone trusts you enough to show you. That's like what makes me happy about it. Voyeurism is... It's are you not like, the word I want to use, but it's the word that came out of me. So I was going to say, like, do you like looking out your window and seeing... Remember when we saw the... That homeless guy getting a blowjob in Vegas, dude. Yeah, good for him. That was cool. In the dude in the morning, he yeah, was that getting was a like morning blowjob. It was like nine a.m. Well, you got to do it before it gets hot, because then he's gonna have swamp dick. <laughs> yeah, no I one wants to blow someone with swamp dick. Um, while you were so while you were gone, I was wandering around New York for my uh, birthday, showing my buddy who's in town. Yeah, like he's from utah and so it is the first time in new york and he's soaking it in the city loving like just everything going on yeah yeah it's fun. and there's this perfect moment where we're sitting on a subway platform and there's this drunk guy singing singing his heart out like it was some kind of uh ranchero like <laughs> like just belting out and then there was a another drunk guy he was a drunk homeless guy 
because there's a crowd of people watching the guy singing. Uh-huh. And then there was another drunk homeless guy, like kind of on the opposite end of the circle that had formed. Yeah. And he was on the floor. He looked like very uncomfortable. And I was just, I pointed my friend like, this is New York right here. The subway platform, hundreds of people. The drunk guy singing, the drunk homeless guy on the ground, and then the drunk homeless guy started projectile vomiting oh, into no. the circle. And I was like, this is it. Oh. He, he was just like, oh. It was the highs and lows. So. Dude, yeah. This is the craziest. You can get on the subway and see, like, once, the only time I've ever given someone money on the subway, this dude came onto the subway and he was playing the fiddle. And he played this like badass fucking like hip hop beat on the I've fiddle. I've heard some virtuosos play yeah. like, violin on the subway. He crushed it, dude. He was like, and he of course was doing the like he dr- he purposefully dressed so that he looked all thugged out. But then he was like, I have a violin, isn't it wild? Which is like you know a money making thing, but whatever. But he was awesome, and I was like, here's some fucking money, dude. And he was like, it was late, and I was like one of the only people on that car, and he was like, what do you play? And I was like, nah, dude, I just fucking dig your shit. And so uh, I got off the tra- off the train and I transferred to the next train. And then on the next train, there was like a cello hobo, you know, like a guy, you know, like with cello-bo. one string on like a fucking stand up bass that was like and torn was, to pieces. Was he good? No. <laughs> he was like, don't. Down, down, and he was just like screaming or whatever. And he, anyway, I don't even think he wanted money. I just think he was playing for the love of the game. Yeah. That's the funny thing about all the buskers is they are our top tier talent, and they are garbage. Yeah, like, yeah. Which is like, what other ooh. venue has the like Full best spectrum. in the world and the wor- the literal like you couldn't even try to be that bad. He's yeah, naturally takes, that bad, or it takes it, pure, it takes the years of practice <laughs> to get that bad, dude, <laughs> to become that terrible, <laughs> to be so bad that someone would walk into the subway car, see you, and then just walk out the other side to the next one. Like, nope, fuck that. Oh man, so funny. Uh, another thing I did, I went to the botanical gardens up in um, uh, the Bronx. <laughs> So we we went to the botanical gardens in the middle of winter, <laughs> which was a fun thing. They have um they have all gender bathrooms there. Whoa, in the Bronx, woke Bronx. Well, so it's it's his park, and so what happened is I'm I have to pee, and I'm like, oh, all all gendered bathrooms here they are, and I walk in, and uh, there's no like urinals or anything, so it's all stalls. Yeah, and I'm like. Just doing my thing, peeing, making fun of my buddy who's with me. Like, we're yelling. And this lady comes out of the stall next to us. I'm like, oh, yeah, this is – they're in an all-gendered bathroom. It's not like a boy's bathroom. Yeah, where it's yeah. All, where it's all fun and we're farting. And you're making peeing jokes. at each other yeah. and whatever. <laughs> and so I felt bad. And then as I left, there was all these people looking at me. Oh. Kind of like – and I'm, like, checking. And I look at the sign and I'm like, no, it's it says all-gendered. That means everyone can use them. It's like an every everything bathroom, right? And so I walk. I keep walking deeper into the thing, and there's a men's bathroom. Oh no! <laughs> so <laughs> there was a men's bathroom with nobody in it, and I was just like, they should put that one first. <laughs> but it was literally a men's and an all gendered, and so uh, people were giving me the stink eye. That's so weird. I know <laughs> because it, it, uh, it, what it sounds like is they there was a men's and then a gender. In queer people bathroom, no, just, or a woman's in queer people bathroom. Not like, even they clearly, clearly just didn't want everything. a straight guy in there. I think it was like a family, like kind of bathroom. You know, like it's it was just two stuff. It was open. Yeah, if you're a degenerate like me, that's a fuck bathroom. I mean, that would be because that's a bathroom you can go into with whoever you're with, and no one questions gender. it. Only gay guys can fuck in the men bathroom. Exactly. You can't bring any ladies in there. (laughs) Yeah. So if you ever see a glory hole in the men's room, I know you want it to be (laughs) what you think it is, but it's not. What do you mean want it to be? It's going to be a penis. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. In your mind, you're like, oh, shit, I've seen this on the internet. There's a a hot lady on the other side. A hot lady's penis? Yeah. (laughs) Listen, the hot lady dicks are a real thing. But anyways, I was thinking they should... They should uh, separate bathrooms by number one and number two. <laughs> that should, or like if you're standing or shit, like sitting. So that would make more sense because then the guys could still go in, pee, walk. They'd be Dude, like a imagine, assembly line. No, imagine what a nightmare the poo poo room would be. <laughs> I know. Oh, that's, that's so fucked up, dude. <laughs> no, split it up. You can't have a poo poo only room. I don't like that. 
I don't know. How how else do you <laughs> separate bathrooms? Dude, I don't know. The other idea I had is like age age groups. So you have like a, a 25 and younger and a 25 and older bathroom to get, separate people. I don't have know. Have you ever seen the where they have like they have stalls that are closed off? And then in Europe, they have like the troughs that are open. Yeah, the, the so piss like, troughs. Yeah, yeah, and they like they kind of like curve up so that like you're in the open, like your back is completely exposed, your top is completely exposed. People can see you as you're peeing, but it literally just covers your dick and you pee into the thing. And but you're like out in public. They have them in like public squares in Germany and shit. And it's kind of I don't know I don't know why. Oh that's yeah, the thing I doing. do. I do have seen that they're like that's wild. They're like tall stalls, so the whole front of you is covered. No. Oh, I'm thinking of a different... No, your head is out. Like, people can see you peeing. They can look into your eyes as you're pissing. That's so... And there's hundreds of people. Like, imagine in Times Square if it was just like a... It's just a dick shield is really what it is. We do need those in Times Square. (laughs) Dude, yeah. No, we do need dick shields. Um, Think of how good it would... How fun it would be. Have you seen... Have you seen... um, I've seen these in pornos, but they also exist. (laughs) Is the there's the bathrooms that are one way glass? Oh yeah, so, yeah, yeah. But there pe- was one of those in Utah, but people have fucked in them. <laughs> oh, so you can see everyone outside, but no one can see you shitting. On yeah, the inside. yeah, yeah. That's what they need in Times Square. Oh, dude, that's a, a ri- that's like that's the best version of like you know when they have the glass and you can walk on it. And you're like I'm floating in the air. Yeah. It's scary. Fuck that. The scarier thing is to be like I'm shitting in the open <laughs> in front of hundreds of people. Or what about? Combine those. You're shitting uh, on the th- like hundredth floor up in the air. <laughs> also, the pipes are <laughs> clear too. Yeah, so yeah, you can yeah. Watch your shit fall <laughs> all the way a hundred stories down. How? Firstly, that sounds awesome. <laughs> Secondly, how funny would it be to go to one of those open air urinals and just pants to your ankles, ass out? <laughs> they couldn't. Could they get mad at you? You're like, this is my urinal style. This is how I pee. Some people pee like that, ass I want, out. I don't want to get pee on my pants, dude. I've. I mean, yeah. Pull it all the way down. It is. It's just a butt, <laughs> <laughs> right? It's right. So funny when you walk into. A, I've done that like once or twice, like at a jazz game. Yeah. When you there's just a uh, hundred guys at urinals and one guy just has his ass out. <laughs> it's so and you're funny. Like, oh, okay, he might be a little mentally deficient, <laughs> <laughs> or he's awesome. Like he just doesn't fucking care at all. True alpha. Um, it's an alpha move. They have the they have those girl those girl what are they called the girl like cup that you cup it around your pussy (laughs) yeah so that you have a you have like a mechanical penis yeah and then you can pee at urinals i remember when i was a kid um when i was really young this this is like actually kind of a sex assault story but it's a light one so we'll be we'll be fine with it this older girl when i was like 12 she must have been like 16 or 17 i was gonna say is it okay because you get assaulted (laughs) yeah yeah yeah. i get assaulted i was gonna say if you're the other way around it's not a you can't be a light it's okay anyway she was fucking with me and my friend whose name i won't say but she was like What's you his know. name? <laughs> but anyway, over the summer, Give she was like in name. town and she would like beat us off or whatever. And one, <laughs> <Okay>. day, <laughs> one day she at, would like. At different times? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All well, right. no, like kind of at the same time. Like, like in the same room? Yeah. Ew. Was she. <laughs> Dude, when you're 12 and it's like a 16 or 17 year old girl, you're like, yeah, you can do whatever you want to me. You don't know any better. And then you get older and you're like, oh, gross. I was like. It's really unhealthy and like definitely fucked me up in terms of like my appropriate boundaries and what I thought was okay. And she didn't even wash her hands in between you guys. No, she was like skiing and shit. Like she was into oh, it. Oh, okay. She used a different hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Skiing. <laughs> Both of you at the same time. Yeah, she was hitting the slopes, dude. The truth comes out. Okay, so is anyway. that like a race when you when a girl's jacking both of you off at the same time? Does the guy like? The guy who knows he's going to come faster, does he, like, use her left hand because he knows it's not going to be as good? Firstly, I'm the guy, <laughs> and I use whatever hand I have. Were you sitting to the right or left of her? Well, here, my thing was always, do you have to – every time I've ever, like, had sex 
and these, then there's more than there's two people present. Yeah, and any one of them is, is a mind game. Yeah, yeah. Those are the things I think of. <laughs> I'm like, all right, <laughs> I got to – which hand do I want? Anytime you're doing devil's three-way stuff, I personally think, for one, it immediately makes the sex funny, so it's it's less pleasurable. But whatever, you're going to get off if you're in the mood, whatever. But I'm always like, I have to come first because if I see my friend – because I've never had a threesome with, like, a guy I was into. Really? I it's have only the, ever been friends that are straight. I have the exact opposite reaction where I'm like, if I come first, I'm the – I'm not – the alpha no way i have to come first because it's, it's gross when they like especially because i'm not attracted to them they've all been my friend so i'm just like so i think it's hilarious like once i had a threesome with my friend and i was like i'm gonna come on the girl's face and he's like no i'm still fucking her and i was like i'm gonna do it that is funny and he was like no please don't <laughs> <laughs> it was really funny see this is why and she was super into it this is why you'll never see me naked or we'll have a threesome well it's firstly cause... i've seen you naked <laughs> and i've seen you having sex and I've seen you having sex with yourself. It's only a matter of time, <laughs> Mac. But this is why we'll never have a threesome <laughs> is because you're all you're like, ah, it's funny. And I'm like, no, I make art with my love. <laughs> <laughs> you'll ruin you'll ruin my Mona Lisa. Oh my god. With your pop art bullshit. So um what was I? So yeah, you have to finish first because it's funnier. Anyway, so this girl made us watch our pee once. <laughs> she like she was just like, you you have to watch and like of course, we were scared of her because she is old and whatever. So we watched <laughs> she her. She was <beat>. sixteen. <laughs> well, when you're like eleven or twelve, a sixteen-year-old girl can like fucking kill you. You know, she was like gnarly. And um, anyway, we watched her pee, and I remember being like, "That was the first time I was like, when girls pee, it's just like a fucking a pee explosion. Like, there's no rhyme or reason to it." Yeah, you got to pull back the the lips to get a better stream. What? Is that not? I don't. Dude, again, <laughs> we literally don't know how women's bodies No, work. I do. I just don't watch enough women peeing. I yeah, <laughs> I've never – I mean, there's a part – I'm not into it. Anyway, I remember what – I was just like, oh, my God. And she like uh, – yeah, it was in it was revel, it was a revelation for me. I was like, man, it sucks to be a girl. You Why? don't get to just pee wherever you want because it like you pee in your sock. It like dribbles down your leg. It's like everywhere. It's like di- like – you're diarrheaing pee out of your pussy every I time. Think, I don't think. I think it's like uh, we need. If you if you're a girl and you pee, <laughs> please write into Cowboy Boys <laughs> oh podcast. My, if you're a girl and you pee, yeah, uh, <laughs> because I'm pretty sure uh, I want to be like they probably have different straight. Like if it was all dribbling, it'd be messier. It is often. I haven't I, that girl's that all gendered bathroom I was in very clean. Yeah, because they're sitting on a toilet. That's what I'm. And then, oh, just... So, but when you have to squat down, it's just like willy nilly. It's not as easy. Trust me. Have you ever peed free hands? Mac, the whole reason we're having this conversation is because women invented a mechanical thing to pee, like men. <laughs> but I mean, so they don't fucking get pee in their socks. If you're not holding, shit. if you're not holding your dick, you're peeing everywhere. No, we, we can just aim ours. Firstly, my dick's heavy enough; it just sits. <laughs> mine's mine's a fire hose. My <laughs> my my thick urethra. Just, oh yeah, I forgot you have a thick a urethra. Is it? It just it just. <laughs> <laughs> my mine is. I actually have like a small urethra. I think. I guess I would pressurize it more because I have a lot of cum, but it comes out in like a lot of ropes instead of just like one big one, which <laughs> I see a lot of porn stars, you know. They're just like they do three big guys. I'm like nine little guys. You, th- you think you get like urethra tightening surgery? <laughs> so you get elective urethra surgery, dude. It's, be honest. Were you into sounding when you were young? No, never. Dude, I'm you still stretch not. your urethra. No. You fucking nasty. I guess if you have a fat dick, you have a fat urethra. There it is. Okay, that makes sense. I heard someone t- say that uh, they can't stay hard for very long because their foreskin is too tight and it strangles their dick. Uh, that sounds that what is it, it's called filmorsis or something. Filmorsis. I, I that's another score one for the Jewish people, Mac. Yeah, but it happens to like one out of every ten billion dudes. No, that for 10 also billion. It, happened, it happened to my uncle. Oh no! 
Oh, so my uncle was 14 and he had to get circumcised. <laughs> but you have like a loose foreskin because you've torn your foreskin. Uh, I know because I have asked you how you were doing <laughs> once and you were like, well, I fucked so hard. I tore my foreskin. It's I was not like, loose. <laughs> it's like a fucking, you know how a turtleneck has like extra, <laughs> you know, like yeah, a at the top fabric at the, at the top. At that's the you, top. Have a, you have a little extra fabric. That's how it literally is. But when it gets hard, it's all, it's all, it's perfect. I got the perfect dick. Okay. It's, it's not too big, not too small. It actually, it's a little fat, but... You know, I love that you're so confident about your penis because you seem to hate everything else about you. <laughs> so it's like, I'm like, you know what? Good for you, That's man. the only thing not making me kill myself. <laughs> it's just that your dick is holding it all together. If, uh, who's, there was a guy, there's like some NF, was it a wrestler? There was like a wrestler who shot himself in the heart because he wanted to like <laughs> preserve his brain so they could like... So, like look some medical scientists could research his brain and like the cte after oh so he shot himself in the heart to kill himself and then they did and they're like oh yeah yeah this guy's brain was all fucked up and oh then, i thought i thought you were say you were gonna say like because we were talking about small dicks wait before, wait so, okay. i'm going to say when i kill i'm gonna shoot myself in the heart <laughs> <laughs> my my last will and testament is gonna be like please place my penis in like this and i like one of those jars <laughs> and preserve like rasputin Oh, is his penis in a jar? Yeah. Yeah. Preserve it for all time and eternity. <laughs> oh, that's not what I was going to say. Just to research it. <laughs> I, thought, I thought, firstly, amazing. Secondly, Please and I will keep your penis. All right. Uh, I promise. Though I don't know why you're dying before me. I'm definitely dying before you. But um, I thought you were talking about small dicks before. I thought you were going to say that the wrestler shot himself in the heart. And then they went <laughs> to look at his brain and they're like, oh, no, his dick's small. That's why I killed himself. <laughs> yeah. You call it good, everybody. No need to look at his brain. This guy's a small dick. He shot himself in the heart. Yeah. <laughs> it fucking sucks. Oh, dude. What are you going to do with the podcast when I'm dead? Oh, I don't know. I'll probably replace <laughs> you. Uh, I don't know who though. I'm not. I don't. I don't vibe with anyone the way we vibe. We should find a. We should find a third mic, and they'll be our insurance policy for Ooh. if either of us dies. That's true. I mean, hey, open auditions. Every, just kidding. No, <laughs> that's horrible. Send us five topics that you would like to discuss if you were our third guest and oh. we'll decide if you're good if, enough if you die i'm going to milk your celebrity <laughs> yeah yeah i'm going to get on your twitter and tell people to follow me as you're like <laughs> it, was, it was shane's last wish <laughs> <laughs> you would you just take it over yeah i would just take <laughs> just it don't over don't even I'd... talk about my death just upload a photo of you <laughs> I would just uh, retweet my stuff more. I would. Uh... No, my last wish is for you to start a Twitter or to revamp my Twitter and to be Ghost Shane. Okay, I will <laughs> absolutely. A, my profile photo is just translucent <laughs> version of whatever it is when I die. And then you just tweet as me from the grave. I think we've talked about that before, but uh, I knew a girl from high school. Who, <laughs> oh, my who fucking God. Her husband had died. <laughs> and so on her t i found her on tinder and i'm not kidding her photo <laughs> what her opening photo was her dead husband but photoshopped as a ghost <laughs> because he was still like part of his life and so it it's really like wrecked me it's a family photo yeah yeah it's it was... her him and their son right yeah it was a kid and then <laughs> they're all there like a normal family photo but in order for you not to she didn't want you to think she was a swinger and she was like how can i get this information across that he's out of the picture but i still love love him, him. Think about your next, her next wedding photos. Do you think he's photoshopped like as a Jedi, <laughs> a Jedi in the background, <laughs> just watching with a robe? Yeah. Yes, yes. So she was like, "How do I convey this information?" And instead of just, I don't know, not having him be a part of it at all and telling people she's still mourning the loss of her husband, but she'd like to move on, so she's trying to date. She was like, "You know what? The socially intelligent thing would be to Photoshop him as a ghost, therefore conveying to men." And he's out of the picture. I actually respect But him. I think about him. <laughs> Dude, and every just so everyone knows, I sh there's no way she knows how to use Photoshop that good. No, you, it's all right. <laughs> you, well, no, no. I'm saying I think she paid someone else to Photoshop her husband as a ghost in her own Tinder photo. 
yeah, I'm totally going to go. <laughs> Whoever dies first, you <laughs> take over my Twitter. I'll take over yours. Hell yeah. Our social media presence. Dude, I would love to take over your Twitter and just grow Ghost Max Twitter. That would be <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't care. <laughs> no, I know you wouldn't. If if someone doesn't profit off of my death, I will be angry in the <laughs> afterlife. Like milk that. I don't want people to be like, oh, so sad. But like, just have fun with it. <laughs> <laughs> have fun with it. Yeah. Oh man. Make fun of it. Uh, I want. I want something crazy to go down on my funeral. Like invite wrestlers to power bomb me into the, <laughs> your body <laughs> yeah, into, into the, the casket into the hole down into the hole. I don't know. Do something cool. Get get it's superhuman. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck this shit, dude. You know what I'll do? We'll have an open casket and I'll be in charge and I won't tell your family that I've paid the mortuary to put you in full juggalo makeup. <laughs> <laughs> So they show up and they're just like beautiful Mac and your mom's crying and they open the casket. She goes, look at you. And it's just like insane in the membrane. And have your it, fucking face is a chuckle. Have one of those coffins, you know, like when you open a greeting card. Yeah. So like the mu- or like a birthday card, the music starts playing. When you open the coffin, <laughs> it starts playing <laughs> cool juggalo music. <laughs> It's saying in the membrane, Cypress Hill. That's I not know. Even... But the Cypress Hill is down with Juggalos. They hang Are they? Out. Yeah, they do. No, I didn't know. Um, what's a Juggalo song? All I know is the Magnet meme. Dude, I only know the Magnet meme, too. I used to know some Juggalo songs because a friend of mine was way about it. He used to tell me it, like he would like write fan fiction. He's like, dude, the Dark <laughs> Carnival. <laughs> When you die, you go there and all your homies are there to hang out. And I was like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, dude. it's like a religion. Yeah. It's a culture. It's a religion. I bet you probably think juggalos have more of a, a ethnic say than Mexicans. <laughs> 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 they are a protected class of people. They are one in the same. <laughs> Are Juggalos on the FBI like gang watch list? Yet? Yeah, they were back in the day. I don't know if they are anymore. Then the FBI looked into it and they're like, oh, they're just fine. <laughs> <laughs> the FBI like went to a show and they're like, these people are not capable of, <laughs> of any damage. No, it's all love there. No, it really is. Dude, I am unironically want to go to the Gathering of the Juggalos. And I'm not even going in like a mean, like, I want to go to... What's you want to go I, back home. <laughs> yeah, what's a place I would go to make, to like, and I would enjoy it and be respectful, but deep down I would be like, I'm making fun of you. What do you mean? That's... Like a BDSM, like if I went to like a BDSM festival where every, like it was just a bunch of weird, like a lot of them were old people wearing leather daddy outfits and shit. I would be, I would be respectful and I wouldn't want to belittle anyone, but whoever I was with, I would be saying horrible shit to, you know, I'd be laughing the whole time. (laughs) I'd be, I like that you have this reverence for like a BDSM festival. No, I'm just trying to say I'm not trying to be a dickhead and be like bully people, but I would be laughing at their expense. to myself i think that's part of the bdsm thing is oh they it's get, true they get off being humiliated dude invite me to your bdsm <laughs> event and i'll humiliate everybody dude i think that shit's whack as hell they want to <laughs> <laughs> dude they're like fill, dude have you seen the crazier shit where they like fill a man's tits with liquid silicone so that his boobs grow no. and then they drain them so the craziest thing i saw dude. recently you know that that they do the hooks and they hang people yeah that's called suspension so i saw that they suspended some Someone from like his stomach area no and so but the they had four hooks right and like the lower stomach and his upper kind of thing yeah and they formed a, a skin bowl and they filled it with like fruit loops what and the cereal fuck? and so he's being suspended and his skin is creating a bowl of cereal and someone is eating cereal out of this bowl <laughs> it was really funny it's simultaneously <laughs> hilarious and awesome and also just like what the fuck guys yeah, get I bet suspension feels pretty fun. You're like you're flying. Can you you know what does make me laugh though? I'm just imagining like what if like trying to explain that to like Rand Paul. <laughs> You're just like she's like, what the fuck is this? What even is this? But anyway. What do you mean? That's you're you like cereal? You like your weird fetish with your, with your little person just you guys trust. like Mike Pence that are just like it, the idea of two men kissing is blowing their mind and then it's just someone hanging from hooks it being made into a cereal bowl Dude, that would just one, blow their fucking mind apart if Mike Pence Mike Pence is gay okay yeah yeah that's <laughs> fair that's uh, fair I'm not kink shaming him because I'm pretty sure 
his whole thing is being secretly in the closet gay. Dude. So gay. Mike Pence backs his raw ass up to fucking glory holes <laughs> and lets people <laughs> smash raw in truck stops for sure. Like, you can't be that homophobic and not be raw smashing at glory holes why do you right think, why do you think he doesn't uh shake women's hands because <laughs> he hates women so much <laughs> he's just like my wife is enough <laughs> his beard just making it you know when they have like those glue on beards every time he he's gonna get a blowjob she has to glue it on glue it on she's like are you gonna make me he's like yes put know. it on bitch i don't know about those <laughs> <laughs> you don't know about glue on beards i don't know what i'm even saying anyway i want to go to the gathering of the juggalos event way bad Dude, how- and i want to have a, i think it'll be a great time everyone there looks like they're having the best time there's fucking firstly there's titties everywhere of all shapes and sizes man there's a lot of weird bodies Bodies there that's fucking awesome there's the full spectrum of are everything you, are there a lot of hot juggalo girls yeah there's like hot juggalo girls there's uh there's it's I, everyone it's I'd, literally every single per like I've black met, white asia it's the full there's a lot of mostly white trash but yeah, there's yeah, still yeah. like I, there's tons of people i've never seen a hot dude that was a juggalo mm. i've seen a hot girl that was a juggalette before like in the wild but i've never seen a dude where i was like oh you're handsome and you happen to be a juggalo that's that wild. Is true there aren't any like <laughs> they're always like you know okay and this is a trope everyone but just imagine in your mind's eye for a second a very skinny guy at walmart and he's wearing pajama pants and he's dating a woman who is five times his size. Do you know this trope? Is this the go- the very skinny white trash guy who looks kind of like yeah. methed out, and he has like glasses that are broken and it's SpongeBob. Not a, it's not a pants. trope. It's I've seen this couple hundreds of yeah, times. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what most Juggalo guys look like to me. Why are they? Why are a lot of those guys so underweight? I think they need to come to my training camp. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's fair. We need to fair. bulk them up, <laughs> lift some weights, and eat eat some burgers and stuff. Yeah, dude. I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. But, uh, yeah, those are the guys. And everyone knows who I'm talking about. Don't don't even pretend like you don't see him in your fucking <laughs> mind's eye. It's Brian Silva. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, who came out as fully gay finally. Remember when he was like, I love women, I love women, and everyone is like, you don't have to love women. Well, and, so, and then he was like, well, I did do gay porn for a little, but only because I like money. And then in his gay porn, he's like fucking dudes, and he's like, I love dudes so much, I would never fuck anybody else. And you're like, you literally said it in the video while you were pounding that other guy's ass that you only love <laughs> fucking dudes. And he's like, nah, I was acting. <laughs> you're like, no, it's uh, method can't. acting. <laughs> dude, he's not an actor. I just love the idea that the dude who goes the gratata is like, I was acting. <laughs> dude, you can act. Dude, dude, that's some Shakespearean level shit <laughs> to be like, as a method actor, I'm unattracted to men, but I'm going to get my penis fully erect with and then just hard smash this guy's ass tell him i love him and that i only like to fuck dudes in scene that's crazy <laughs> could you do that if i was being paid if i was getting those paychecks as like a a, a very like high end actor i think i could <laughs> yeah what do you mean high end like hollywood like yes, millions like triple a i don't i can't i in my old age i can no longer get hard unless i'm in in it to win it that's sad. I know, dude. Have you? I took a bunch of. I took Viagra <laughs> to see what would happen, and it didn't do anything to me. I was like, "Damn, that." Fucking but you can sucks. still you can still get hard sometimes, right? Oh no, I get hard all the time. All right. No, I get hard when I want to fuck. But like, it used to be when I was a like younger firstly that i would just be like like I, I could fuck people i wasn't attracted to when i was younger just based on the idea that i was excited to have sex and come now if i'm not 10 of 10 attracted to you not gonna happen it mm. lit- it just isn't gonna happen sorry sounds like you're at my level yeah dude <laughs> you've, you've you've tamed out well i talked to like a doctor about it and i was like and then they were like try viagra and i was like okay <laughs> talking to your doctor like Hey, I can't like. So, sometimes I meet these slam pigs, <laughs> and I can't get hard anymore. Your doctor's like, hmm. You know what? <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna prescribe you some. In- Sorry for the gratuitous term. But- <laughs> he was well. He was a homie about it. He's like, listen, I get it. Sometimes you just want to fuck, and I was like, thanks, man. 
So, um, but yeah, I can only, then later we found out it's just like an emotional thing. I'm just fucking, I'm just gay for, uh, gay for coming. Gay for love? Yeah, dude. I'm (laughs) so gay for love. So now I can only, uh, get hard and have sex if I'm having a very, uh, a connection with someone. Welcome to my personal hell. I know. I've been here. You've just been like this your whole life? Yeah. Dude, I can't tell you how (laughs) many people I've fucked. And then as soon as I came, I was like, holy shit, I don't, uh, zero traction. I had just done it for like what? I don't know what I was doing. I guess I was twenty three. That's my only excuse. I can't tell you how many people. Oh, I could probably count them. It's not that many, but the, like, <laughs> there's there's a, there's been so many times where like a girl is obviously throwing like vibes and she's cute and it's just like I saw I saw uh, you bomb that joke on stage and <laughs> <I'm> not. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> or like it'll just be it'll be some more weird thing. It'll always be like a random thing my brain picks out and it's like it's like the seinfeld problem where he just uh, your eyebrows are a little too close together <laughs> it'll always be something like personal though <laughs> like you, their personality not their physical you know who was telling me something that i remembered and i don't even know if if uh he was uh, it was mark norman he was telling me and he, i'm allowed to say this because i think he said it on stage okay. and if not whatever <laughs> we're, this isn't a famous podcast it's fine we'll bleep his name out. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway he was like uh he used to have to watch porn like over a girl's shoulder to get hard like first girlfriend i did that once <laughs> dude yeah that's what it reminded me of because he said that and i was like Holy shit, I know someone else. The audacity. I played Game Boy Advance once while I was fucking. This was, this, that was just that. But that's not to get hard. That's to just, because I was, you know, deep in it. This was when I was at a very low point in my life. And that, that, <laughs> yeah, no shit, and dog. And that girl was like, I just want to fuck. And I'm like, okay. Like, <laughs> throwing it so hard at me. And I'm just like, I guess if you want. I mean, <laughs> my heart wasn't in it. Yeah, yeah. Once she got a piece of it, and then she wanted round two, right? No, because I, I, I don't, I, I don't do just one and done. I personally have to do. Like, you have to. I, it's I have to fuck more than once. No, I only fuck more than once if I'm like way into it. You mean succession is in like succession? Yes, yes. Yeah, not yeah, like yeah, fall yeah. asleep, wake yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. If I'm gonna fuck more than once too, it's not like a fuck and then a break. Usually it's a come and then I'm like still going yeah, and you, I just have a second no, in me. You need like a five minute break. No, I mean not me. Right, if I'm gonna do it you. twice, I'll do it twice. It's okay. What? Oh, I'm sorry that you can't maintain an erection and do double nuts. No, I gotta, I gotta take a breather. <laughs> you gotta recharge. I'm fat. I'm just imagine it like a video game meter. Your balls are just like do 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 do, building Should it up. Do that. Wow, you just broke the controller. All right. Anyway, um, <laughs> looking at the time, maybe trying to figure out if you're gonna say anything horrible. Mm. What porn did you watch while you were trying to get hard for that girl? Uh, was it the opposite of her? <laughs> <laughs> Not the opposite, but I mean that was so many years ago. I can't remember what specific porn I watched at a certain day. Oh come on, that's a very uh, that's a traumatic event. I would assume you would remember. I remember you telling me once you were like she wanted me to choke her and I hated oh, it. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you were all like well, bummed out. <laughs> there's like there's like choking and then she's like harder and I'm like ah, I'm not gonna. I just met you. <laughs> I'm Dude. not going to start like choking you this hard. Like maybe if we got married, like I would be more. Uh, comfortable with your request to abuse you <laughs> oh dude like but just to meet a stranger and to, like that's that's you're asking for trouble if some someone you just know like their first name yeah and they're like leave marks on my body oh yeah <laughs> yeah, like, yeah no uh, dude, i've even had a girl that i was dating for a while be like hit me as hard as you can and i was like you don't understand what you're asking I'll, i don't i'll just fucking sleep you are I, you saying you want me to knock you out i don't I'm trust you? you enough for me to hit you yeah yeah exactly <laughs> dude i was just like i don't even if i'm uncomfortable with this how are you in any sense of the word comfortable People get horny <laughs> dude yeah especially girls no guy go- i mean like guys do but like very rarely is a guy asking another guy like no one's jokering like hit my face like that's just i'm not out there looking for it but now that you mention it i've never seen any like angry gay porn (laughs) yeah i mean it exists but it's not like the norm whereas like it is the norm i would say i expect a girl when i meet her and sleep with her for the first time i I expect her to be like fucking choke me slap me like spit in my face like girls are 
Um, you know, girls we're awakened. Need to, girls well, need to chill out. <laughs> <laughs> guys, no, that's why like, no gay ways. guys, they just make sweet, tender love. Here's the thing. I think that if you're, if you're going to fuck someone's butt the first time. It is more gentle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, also it's like intense. Because we just remember, you won't even give up the butt unless she's blown her pussy out having three kids. Yeah. Now imagine that all you have available to you is middle school romance shit or butt stuff. I like the middle school romance shit. I like it too. Above the pants Dude, hand jobs. Listen, lots of guys, <laughs> including me, are into that. If you're going to be with a guy, that's cool. That's my favorite Just part. Just make out in, in blowies and handies. You know what's really hard to find in porn? What? Is this is what it's one of those things that I search for, but I can't. I don't know what the like to type in specifically. Is that like first date awkwardness where you're like kind of filling each other out and making out that foreplay? Do you know what to type in? I because it's always so, just so. If you go, if you go, if you do first time uh, amateur like cam or whatever, but it's always still too like they're too comfortable and fast, and they're like, ah, we're getting to fucking now. Mm, a lot of them are like awkward. If you look up cam like saved cam videos where a girl and her boyfriend are like trying to have sex on camera for the first time, okay, that, and that they're really trying awesome. to interact with the chat, and it's very awkward. That's pretty hot. I, I like that realism there. I don't like them interacting with the third person. Well, I they want, have to because it's the I, know, yeah. I want them to be like. So you want to? <laughs> the only way to. Do that would be to like secretly film them. I don't know what I mean. I'm not, I'm looking for, yeah, I just got to go out and start dating more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got to just exist. do this yourself, dude. <laughs> that doesn't. The, the only way to get that is crime. <laughs> I love that you found the lamest, most romantic porn, and the only way to find it is to either have world class actors like Brian Silva, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the Karatata guy, or or to to uh, sex crime it and just film it without their consent. Yeah, the cameras they can't. You, they make people act, <laughs> dude. I wonder how you many need that realism. I, I've stayed in like over a hundred hundreds of hotels. I wonder, and I've jacked off in all of them. <laughs> yeah. I wonder how many people just have a video of me just like furiously laptop on my chest, just busting. <laughs> like, what do you think the dark web is full of? Ninety <laughs> percent just, just fucking just, cranking it onto the carpet of my hotel room. Just hotel <laughs> videos, <laughs> <laughs> hidden camera. <laughs> Dude, you just point it in the because it's the hotel who gives a shit. You just point it in the air and see how far you can get it. Like it's disgusting that hotels have carpets. <laughs> no, <laughs> they I know should the have, last, the last should... hotel I was in had hardwood floors, and I was like, "This is good." <laughs> yeah, no, that <laughs> hardwood floor tiles that would be so much. Just hose it down after, right? I'd feel like spray it down with some bleach, but those carpets <laughs> are like can't believe we walk on those. Dude, I get self conscious. Have you ever like? Did, like had a getaway and fucked in a hotel and like gotten blood all over the sheets or like something weird. I watched a documentary where they talk about people die in hotels and they just change the sheets. Oh yeah. They don't like they maybe maybe if you're lucky they'll flip the mattress. <laughs> if like there was too much blood on that side. Who gives a so shit? like there there've been like stories of someone died in a hotel they like change the sheets, kind of like spritz it with some uh, Febreze, flip the mattress maybe, and then they book that room. The next, so there was a dead person laying in there for how many hours? The day before you were sleeping in there, and Dude. now you're jacking off in that dead person's That's bed. Fucking awesome. <laughs> Their ghost is <laughs> it's just, just like, haunting no, that room. Wait, no, respect my 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 space, and that, I'm just like busting to that, whatever horrible glory hole porn I'm watching. Worst place to die would be a hotel room, and you have to haunt that specific room. Oh, dude, think about the worst. that. All just watching people fucking masturbate in that room for all. That's, that's hell. <laughs> yeah, that's terrible. Trying to scare them, Ooh. dude. But I uh, once I I slept with this. We had like had a romantic getaway at a hotel, and I fucked in. The, it, it we like did the where we got home at night and we fucked in the dark and like crime scened the bed. Like she <laughs> yeah. got her period while we were fucking, like and just blew out the bed. It was so you know when you're like knees to nipples, just like <laughs> oh my god. Like I thought she was dying. Anyway, she was fine, but like we got blood all over like all these towels in the bed and it was super bad and i was like trying to figure out how to like sneak out and throw them away because i was too embarrassed throw them away you know what i would have done I, you wrap up all the sheets in, in one a clean one in a clean one leave a note and like a hundred dollars <laughs> for dude. the poor 
Mexican lady that is cleaning that. I felt so bad. I was you like, left a tip, right? Uh, yeah. I did. Well, no. Here's what happened. We left in the morning, and I thought that the housekeeping wouldn't come till like noon. And when we came back from breakfast, it was clean. So they had like pulled up the blood sheets out of the room, like so she saw everything and cleaned it without some and didn't say, you know, clearly she just did her job. But what? I was like so, and em- I've never, I was legitimately embarrassed. What's funny is like you're like I'm so embarrassed and rightfully so, but that was probably like oh yeah, <laughs> like not even the worst thing. She's, she's just seen. like oh yeah, these people just fucking blew out the bed. It happened. Senor, there's another dead man. <laughs> <laughs> like, think of how bad. <laughs> just imagining uh-huh. her looking under the. Honestly, it was probably a relief. Yeah. She sees all the bloody sheets and towels, and she's like, "Oh fuck!" She looks under the bed. There's no dead guy, and she's like, "Oh cool!" <laughs> and just like throws that stuff in the thing. Yeah, I was gonna throw it out. I was gonna like wrap it up and throw it over the fence, like into the just to hide it from her. I was ashamed. I'm thinking like if I had to clean a hotel room, I'd rather have blood than like shit or piss or anything. One hundred percent. Blood is like okay. It's... A lot of people are weird, but I think blood is the best. Blood dries. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't stink too bad. Yeah, and who cares where it comes from? Blood is blood. Shit is shit. <laughs> yep. You know, I'm not about it, dude. Blood state. Blood belongs in your body. Shit. Your body is pushing shit out. Oh. Your body, that's, it should only be exported. Shit, shit sometimes used to be cake mush, and that's just another level. What are your shits like when you eat cake mush? Mm, pretty, my shit's been pretty stellar. Yeah, you yeah. just be doing fours some straight across the, the board? The stool, stool chart, yeah. Uh, I don't, dude, my body, I told you, it's like a World War One tank. It just chugs along no matter what fuel I put into it. It's, my insides are all, they're perfect. I'll survive anything, eating anything. It doesn't vary too much. That's crazy. Uh, when, I, when I eat healthy or whether I eat garbage, I feel the same. <laughs> Speaking of eating healthy, if you wanted to buy cake online... And send it to yourself. I don't think you can buy cake. Yeah, you probably can't. You can buy cake mix. Yeah, buy cake mix on Amazon.com using our bookmarked tab. Am I saying this right? No, no. Just go to our website, cowboyboys.rodeo. <laughs> we have Amazon links at the bottom. And if you click on those, Amazon, Jeff Bezos himself mails us a check uh, out from, yep. I think it's like 1% of <laughs> whatever you spend. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't. Don't go out of the way to use it, but if you're already going to use Amazon, because they like, why wouldn't you? Then use we our love link. it. Uh, like I said, email us at cowboyboys ro- dot wait cowboyboys no. podcast at gmail dot com. Um, Shane's been out of town, so we haven't gotten to too many emails. He yeah, yeah. also doesn't know how to log into the email after I've given him the like, uh, password. Several times <laughs> I've lost it, and I should have it. because There the, are emails that are directed straight to you that I don't want to answer for you. <laughs> oh, no. Everyone, we'll get back to them. Listen, I truly want to answer you guys, and I very seriously appreciate when you guys email me, especially like when you say heartfelt things or kind things. We read them all. Love I dicks do. and titties and butts. And all the cool stuff you send. God, you guys are awesome. And you also send us funny stuff sometimes. It's great. I uh, I just forget. And then sometimes I go to Canada for 10 days. And they use fucking moose teeth as money. And they fucking have wooden internet. And it's terrible. So I don't, I'm not <laughs> checked in. But I'll get it done this week. Oh, speaking of this week, uh, I have shows in uh, Worcester. Yeah, you're saying that right. Worcester? No, the, you had it the first time. <laughs> Worcester? Worcester. War, Worcester. War, Worcester. Anyway, yeah, we people, got like ten emails. I people keep being like, corrected. "You're saying it wrong." It's Churchester, <laughs> dude. Listen, it doesn't matter. I'm at the Woo Ha Comedy at, Club. You get, fucking maniacs. At that, the rest of America says Worcester. Yes, uh, it's like Worcestershire be, sauce. Yeah, we're Worcestershire. You'll be corrected. A dozen times. I refuse. I'm going to go on stage all four shows and be like, <laughs> good to be in Worcester. Go fuck yourselves. <laughs> so some of those shows. Get, a, get an easy name like Utah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Or New Two York. Two syllables. It's uh, so easy. So um, we I'm going to be doing shows in Worcester, uh, Massachusetts. Uh, some of those shows have already sold out. Genuinely, if you're thinking about going, don't wait. Buy tickets because they're, they're all probably going to sell out. So, uh, which is, I don't even, I'm not even comfortable saying that. It's wild. What a world we live in today that so many of you 
are degenerates and terrible. Um, also, <laughs> they, big, huge thank you to everyone who said hi in Canada. Fucking uh, love you guys so, so, so much. It was so cool meeting fans in Canada. Um, there was uh, all kinds of cool stuff that went down in Canada and so many, so much love. Uh, performing with Tom Green and people just being like, I love the podcast. And I was like, I love, oh my God, I love you. But then I was with Tom, so I had to leave. I didn't really hang out too much in Canada. Because I was trying to hang out with one of my childhood heroes, you fucking maniacs. So I couldn't hang out with you. Um, Also, I'm going to be in Rhode Island later this year. Look out for that on my website, shanesmithcomedy.com. I'm also trying to go to Florida. And I'm also planning on being in California pretty soon. So uh, watch out for me, everybody. What else do we want to say? Follow us online. Yeah, again, our website, uh, cowboyboys.rodeo. Rodeo. That's where everything is. Hell yeah. Follow our social medias. Tweet at us. Email us. Whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. We try and get back to you. Uh, all right, everyone. Uh, fucking yeehaw. Yeehaw. <laughs>